I'm here to talk about linear drains and um, let's get tee up this. So what we're a manufacturer of linear drain systems. So who would have thought that linear drains are actually exciting or something? And so the best thing I was hoping to do in my three seconds today would be to talk about where the art meets science. And what I mean by that is we have tons of designers in here, but if I could demystify what goes on underneath the floor, I could give you guys a little bit of power and knowledge so that when you talk to subcontractors, you have a better understanding of what's going on. And so I don't think I could do it in the time I have, but I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what it is. So basically, we're gonna show you a, this is the current type of installation, which is called a vinyl pan. It's kind of like a horse and carriage. Did anybody come by horse and carriage here today? I, I, except for Kelly. Um, but, <clears throat> but basically, this is the standard, like 95% of the US installs with this vinyl type of system, which is equal to four days of time and leads to mold and bacteria build up under the tile. So while your waterproofing might not fail, you'll actually have water that pools underneath there, and it's just a great spot for mold and bacteria. Sometimes tile lifts up after that, or you actually smell it, pretty disgusting. So that's the current standard, but there's better systems now. But our challenge is getting subcontractors to get up to speed with technology. They just push back all the time. It's a hard challenge, right? So let's get here by a car, let's zoom into the next millennium. It's about time. So this is the USG Infinity Drain Shower System. This is a joint venture, our, my company, Infinity Drain, with USG. Basically, in, in layman's terms, there's a floor, there's a wall, there's waterproofing, and there's a shower drain. All of it's pre-waterproof. The floor is pre-sloped. You don't have to do a mud bed. You don't have to wait for a dry time. You reduce human error. Everything's perfectly pitched. You don't have to worry about ponding or pooling in the corners. This whole system installs in, a, in an uh, hour and a half versus four days. So a quick rundown of the numbers here is on the left side is our traditional system, which is basically day one, you do a mud bed, you have to wait for it to dry. You need two guys, one mixing mud, one troweling mud. There could be human error. Day two, you could do the waterproofing. Finish the waterproofing, do a flood test, which means you fill it up, draw a line, and, uh, and check and see if it's leaking. Once you're good, do the second mud bed. Day four, finally tile. Whereas this Infinity Drain, uh, USG Infinity Drain system, you're basically doing the whole thing in an hour and a half and flood testing. It completely eliminates the human error and saves three days of labor and 29 labor hours. Overall, when you add material plus labor, it's about, a, a, on average nationally, it's about $1,500 savings, so, which is amazing. So we're doing our demonstrations every day in our booth uh, 11 and 2 p.m. Our booth is 4001, which is uh, you know 50 feet from here, not five miles. So we've got Frankie beat on that one. Um, and um, you know, but really, come visit our booth. We're doing demos, and we also have a barbecue truck outside. If anyone's hungry, we're doing a oh. northern pulled pork barbecue. You know how to tempt us all. In. Absolutely. So um, questions for our friend here? Yeah, right up front. Let's get a microphone first. Thank you. With eight. With aging in place being a big thing now, can we do a zero? Um, Great question. A zero, a barrier-free bathroom. What, how do we do barrier-free bathrooms? It's, it's, so there's two there's challenges with that. It's not an easy answer. I, I want to say yes and walk off the stage. But basically, in new construction, it's all about planning. You need to drop the shower, the wet area, or even the whole bathroom down two inches. And that'll allow you to get this. When you're on a renovation, there are tons of challenges. And you really don't know until you open that floor up and see what's going on. It could look like the slide I showed before. But there's ways of sistering joists, there's ways of lowering, and there's minimum heights. So what I would say is, give us a call. We have a tech department. What's the conditions? Let's see if it's possible. Let's get the best requirement. But it's a challenge that doesn't have an easy answer. But there are solutions. Great question. Thank you. Lots of questions. OK, let's get some up front here. Um, what is the range in lengths that the drains come in? Thank and you. also, do you do exterior uh, applications like roof decks and things like Thank that? Thank you. Great question. There, uh, we, we make drains from 24 to 60 inches in six inch increments. We do custom drains. We have lots of different patterns and four different finishes. We do tons of outside work, including, including pools and patios. And if there's any kind of challenge that you have on site, call us. We have a team that's ready to tackle whatever that challenge is and speak to the subcontractors as well. And do you have outside the application? We do have outdoor pools, patios, etc. A lot. Fantastic. Lo 
Time for one little short question, a little short answer. Do we have the, some? The drain, I noticed, is always installed in the corner. Can you move the drain, or is it always going to be installed on the, on the inside wall? It could be wherever you place it. It can be. So the system I showed was a pre-pitched floor that's designed to go against the wall. The same system can use a mud bed, and you could put that drain wherever you want. And there's lots of variables. Please come by our booth and see us. We'll be happy to go farther into it.